Hello, fellow degenerates, and today I'm going to teach you how to do something really cool and simple, and that is changing the sky texture in Doom. And as you can see, I already have this sample map set up, um, and there's this normal, we have the normal Doom 2 sky, and we want to get rid of that. And we want to get an even better sky, so what you want to do is close your wad, um, open the wand editor, I prefer Slade, but you can do whatever, and you wanna, um, you wanna create a wad archive, or, actually, you wanna, oh, you wanna open your wad, yep, look for the map you're using, um, I'm using sky sample, you wanna open that sky sample dot wad, so, um, I have all of this, and now what I'm going to do is import a sky texture. So what I'm going to do is um, put find. Here's my uh, uh, here we go. This is a beautiful sky texture. Also, pro tip: it has to be PNG. I don't know if JPEGs work, sadly. So. In the moment, we're going to name it nice, because simplicity. And now what you want to do is go over to where it says new entry, right here, highlighted in blue. And you want to call your new entry map info. Now you have a map info lump. By the way, lumps are these little, you know, each individual thing is it's a lump. So you want to click view as text, and you want to put map, map, whatever your map slot is, and, um... I'm gonna put epic example for the time being because why not and some of you already know how the map info format works but if you don't know you just put this weird brace bracket thing right there and you put for example sky equals uh, frick sky one sorry make sure it's sky one equals nice in quotation marks and um, music equals D running so you actually have a soundtrack, and D running is the default name for the Map01 track. So now you want to save your changes to Map Info, and for an e extra epic tutorial, bonus tutorial for you epic music nerds out there, um, if you want to change that, you look for your MP3. So, Rip Daisy, never forget. That's what I'm. That's what I named it. You want to drag it with Control U, hold that until it goes all the way to the top of your map. And you want to rename it D underscore running. And there you go. Now you save your map. And all we need to do is open this in Doom Builder. And hopefully that works. Boopy boop, beepy bop. Let's open this up. And. Here we go. See? Now we changed the map. The soundtrack is cooler. And yeah. Yep, it's the classic thing. Alright, bada bing, bada boom, bada boom, ba bam. You just change your sky texture in the most simplest way you could. Because all the other tutorials just tell you to freaking go into your Doom 2 1 and save the patch and patch names and that all you need to do uh, what I just said to do and there you go simple and easy and that's gonna conclude the first part of this tutorial the second one is how to have multiple skies in one map so por favor please stick around um, to see uh, how to do that and now we're moving on to the second part of this tutorial now you see this teleporter here I put it here to teleport you over here to the second room where you'll have a different sky and I already set it up as you can see right here, but this is not the sky I want. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do, well, it's pretty cool. What you want to do is go into sectors mode, obviously, and go over, crap, go over here and set the effect to, oh, I already set it to whatever, 200 for sky 2, which we will be editing in map info. So you want to save your wand, go back into, oh, wait think I might have whoop de dude right there. Hold on. I'm sorry. I apologize for 
this epic technical difficulty. You also want to do this because I put a teleporter there and I, I think it would have, it would have screwed everything up. So now you want to, now you want to cha save your changes and all that stuff and open slate back up and go to your recent files and go to your wad. And if you're a real mad lad, if you're, you're a freaking legend, you know what's up and, um, you're gonna, you're gonna, um, do this and this, this is gonna be the best sky texture you will ever see. In fact, that's what I named the file. Also, pro tip, make sure all your skies are 256 by 128 pixels because that's the normal sky kind of thing for Doom. Just, just letting you know because I don't, I don't know if other dimensions work. Maybe they do, but for the time being, just put 256 by 128. Anyway, we're just going to name this one Momoko and, oh shit, and <laughs> we're going to put it in a map, another, oh wait, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, sorry. You want to go back here, then you want to go right here, sky 2 equals Mo Momoko, there we go, save this, or whatever your sky name is, but you get, you get the point. I'll provide a download link for both of these textures in the description, because why not? So save your changes, exit Slade, um, open your Doom Builder, and let's see, let's see what's gonna happen in here. Boop boop boop. Um, let's go into Fuse Doom and let's see what happens. All right, all right, normal level. Now we enter this teleporter to go to that other section of the map. Oh yeah! <laughs> we did it, it worked. Voila, we have the best sky texture you will ever see. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will conclude this epic Doom Builder tutorial. Frick, I should have let the track finish, but whatever. Uh, hasta la vista, uh, see you some other time, I guess, lol.